let this all catch up with us here see if we can get through this take six and we're close here we go all right here we are on Wednesday evening uh, we're well into February already and it's the polar arctic subarctic whatever you want to call this snowmageddon we've got going on in Oklahoma so <clears throat> it is cold it is bitter it is uh, icy it's fixing to snow man we got it all I mean we've had an earthquake we've uh, I think the only thing we haven't had is we haven't had a thunderstorm or a tornado, but, you know, well, the week is not out yet, so there's no no telling what's in store for us as we close this week out. But, man, I, I apologize for missing last Wednesday. We were out of town on a road trip into southern southeast Arkansas and, and uh, had a good time on that trip and, and just wasn't able to do a live while we were gone. So I thought I'd, I'd catch up with you this week. We're going to close this session out. Um and then I'm going to have to figure out what else we're going to do. <laughs> so, but I want to finish Becoming an Armor Bearer, take six. This is six sessions. I wasn't sure how long it was going to take us to get through it. Um, but but six is going to do it. So bear with me. We're going to get through this. It's not. It shouldn't be too long tonight, I hope. Um, and then we'll we'll uh, look towards Sunday and where we're going to be with that. So, But uh, under or understanding our, our assignment and our appreciating uh, of our gifts, so that this is a, the kind of the ending of this chapter, ending of, of this session of, of teaching. Uh, I am going to try to put all this together um, on a where I, where I can load it on a flash drive. If somebody wanted this entire teaching, out of where you could sit and watch them all, I'll actually also try eventually to load this entire session on our website, so you could go and just watch each one, or you could send it to people if you'd like to. But understanding our assignment. And appreciating our gifts as an armor bearer the last important step we need to take in our quest to become an armor bearer is to learn and understand our God-given assignment the fulfillment of that assignment is dependent on the proper use of the divine gifts which have been bestowed upon us God gives us these gifts have you ever been been given a gift for your birthday or at Christmas and you excited to open it only to be disappointed because maybe it's not what you really wanted or maybe some family member recognizes the disappointment and whispers to you don't worry you can always exchange it or you know maybe get something better down the road we, we see that very same thing happen with the body of christ we open the gift that god has given us and then we run to someone else to see what they got and and, and then we hurry to another one to see what gift they may have gotten and then we look at our gift and Maybe we're unhappy with it, and we th we think to ourselves, I know what I'll do. I'll swap it for something I like better. Well, this explains why there are so many people running around the church today claiming to be someone that they're not. They are simply gift swapping because they don't like the spiritual gift that God has placed within them. God bestows gifts according to his will, and it's up to us to receive those gifts and allow the Lord to add to us more gifts as he wills as we are faithful in the small things god will make sure and make us rulers of many matthew 25 21 states that as we stay with the assignment and the gifts god has given each of us he will bring our gift before great men serve where you're where you are and use the gifts that you have until god brings direction and or increase when david was anointed as king he was only a boy what did he do after he was anointed he went back to tending sheep. That's that's what he was. He was a sheep tender. He was a shepherd. If David would have took off looking for a giant to slay, his flock of sheep would have been eaten by the lion and the bear that's recorded in the Bible where he fights them and, and kills them. No matter whether you are currently a pastor, an associate, a music minister, a youth leader, a children's church minister, a Sunday school teacher, an usher, uh, a greeter, or simply a worshiper, you have a flock that you are to tend, and you're to tend to it well. David knew and understood that his assignment from God was his flock. Even though he had, had been anointed as king, he still had an assignment to fulfill. Giants will come, but, it will, but we will stay with our assignments, recognize our divine gifts as he has given them to us. When our appointed time has come for us to face and slay our giants, 
and we'll be fully prepared for that battle. You know, you think about David and had he had he gone to face Goliath prematurely, had he had he run off to face Goliath b- before he he learned that he could kill the lion or before he learned he could kill the bear, before he was skilled enough to see his enemy for what it was, before he had been given the eyes to see the things that he needed to see, what what would have come of him when he got to that giant? It's possible he wouldn't have won. It's possible that things would have gone way different. It's possible God would have allowed something different to happen there. You may look at your current position and condition and wonder, how could God ever use you? Maybe you've been used in the past in a way, and that seems to have drifted off, and and now you're wondering, okay, God, now what? Again, tend the sheep. Tend to the flock. There, there's things going on behind the scenes. There's things going on inside of us that we don't really understand, that we can't see until God prepares us and places us in the battle where, we, where he wants us. You think to yourself, I'm not the one in charge. I'm supposed to stay submitted to the one I serve. How will I ever get to fulfill my dreams and my vision by staying submitted to someone else? Be at peace and know that God's word is not written for just leaders. It's written for us all. So every one of us's dreams and visions are going to come to pass in the in the time allotted. It is written for the whole body of Christ, and that includes you, right where you are, right where you're serving. We must learn to walk in our assignment, to stay in submission to his divine authority, and to fulfill our God ordained call in order to become true armor bearers. The spirit of an armor bearer is the spirit of Christ. This is the day that we see that. God's children should stay take up the shields of others and be willing to carry them into battle. We have an overall vision and a mandate from God to to reach our generation. This can be accomplished when we develop the spirit of an armor bearer and we truly begin to give to ourselves. The armor of the armor bearer of today will be leaders of tomorrow. That our our our, our goal with being an armor bearer today is to become tomorrow's leader. When we serve where God has placed us, where when we when we are put to task and using our gifts just as God has given them to us, whether it's tending sheep, whether it's greeting at a front door, whether it's checking on someone who's sick, whether it's just singing, whether it's just worshiping, whether it's just smiling and, and asking that person next to us, hey, how you doing today? Maybe it's praying for somebody. You know, maybe maybe you've got a ministry to just pray over people. Maybe God's using you in a way that you don't really understand. It's a submission. It's an obedience thing to God. As we give our life to Christ, as we serve him in the capacity in which he's given us to do, that's that's our calling. That's our gifting. That's what he's given us to do at that point in time. Let God use you right where you are. Let God move upon you exactly where you are right now. Don't take anything else. Just wait upon the Lord. Let him let him use you where you're planted. Let it bloom where you're planted is a really good thing to, to hear today. Again, I, as we close this thing out, I, I want I want to challenge you to maybe go back and go through every single week. Go go through all six lessons once again. Really dig deep into what it means to be an armorer or what it means to serve the Lord in a capacity that's sometimes beyond our own thinking. Sometimes it's beyond what we realize or what we what we desire even in our life. We never know what God has in store for us or what he has planned for us. But I encourage you and I challenge you, sink deep into the word of God. Let him move upon you in such a way that you'll never be the same again. And those that you serve will never be the same again either. Pretty short tonight, um, just closing this thing out. But I want you to really take that to heart the story of David. David was anointed king as a boy. He, he was given the task as a king as a boy, but he went back to tend sheep. He went back to do the things that God had given him to do until he was called to his appointed time. When he was called to his appointed time, things really began to click because he was in the obedience and the will of God. That, that is so crucial in our life today that we must be obedient. We, we've got to be willing to allow God to use us right where we are 
doing whatever it is we may be doing. That time will come when he'll elevate us and, and use the gift that he has given us at the appropriate moment. But we've got to trust him and live our life out accordingly until, until we're at that time frame. So God bless you guys. I know this is, again, it's been kind of short tonight. Um, we'll, be, we'll be back on with some other things. I've got lots of things on my heart, lots of things that are challenging me um, with where we are in our world today, with the things that are going on around us right now. Um, the chaos that we live in, man, I challenge you, get close to the Lord, get in his word, trust his word. Um, <clears throat> we're hearing a lot of things right now. There's a lot of messages being given. There's a lot of preaching. There's a lot of prophecy. There's a lot of stuff going on in our world today, but sink deep into the, into the word of God and let him speak to you his truth because the true prophetic is the prophet who's speaking the heart of God. So know God's heart, know his word, and you won't be led astray. God bless you guys. I pray that this has been a, a great um, lesson, a great, a great time of devotion for you. And um, again, I'll get it loaded up to where you can look at them all together if you'd like. I know they're all scattered throughout um, the, the Facebook page here. But thank you again for all your support. Man, we're leaning on some things right now that we would really like to see God do. Um, I would encourage you, I challenge you to pray about uh, about support. I, I pray that you're given to your local ministry. That's that's huge. Tithing to your local storehouse uh, is something that I think God commands us to do. It's something I think he gives us to do. But where you're being fed is your storehouse. So keep that in mind. We have a lot of things that we could use um, your support for. Continue to pray for this ministry. Continue to, the, to pray that God will lead us wherever he chooses us to go. But more than anything, let him use you right where you are today. Just just bloom where you're planted and become the best armor bearer that you can be by serving God and then serving man. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you so much. Check out the website, www.livingloutoutdoors.com. There's all kinds of giving links on there and on our page here. Uh, we appreciate everything you do and uh, just pray that you continue to follow us, continue to, to uh help us become who God wants us to be as well. So God bless you. We'll talk to you again really, really soon.